a lot of these uh, wage inequalities happening now with uh, people my age, if you want, that uh, have left school a long time ago and have no way to come back. A lot of these uh, younger people actually moving back to live with their parents because they cannot find employment opportunities. There is no, that all the policies are guided towards young people, like the, to, the 15 to 24, but everything beyond that is there's nothing for them. And so these people have actually challenge, challenging times to find alter, alternative programs for them to retrain, to get the right training and the right skills for alternative occupation. I think that this is something we need to take care of, especially in those economies where um, people are getting older and uh, have to completely retool their skill sets uh, by the age that they're 45 or 50. There are people who are very high skilled also in developed economies like ours in Germany uh, who, who offer their services on the platform economy, for example, translation uh, services and work basically in precarious working conditions, although they are highly skilled. So I would caution towards skills by itself uh, obviously does not equal uh, employment opportunities that, that people should have. Platform economy may not be an incentive to have those platform economy workers, even if they get in the platform economy because they have skills, to constantly upgrade those skills. I mean, the onus would be on them to do that, which may or may not prove successful. And I, so I wonder whether the platform economy could actually lead to or contribute to a slowdown in productivity because there would be no institutionalized way of upskilling those platform workers to improve their productivity over time.